Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Today we discuss one of the important topic of company law article of association. This topic how much important that is prove that at the time of incorporation every company is bound to be submit this document along with their prescribed form. I am Dr. Jaswan Saini, associate professor faculty of law md university rohtak discuss this article of association and learning outcomes we discuss here first what we learn after discuss this entire topic to gain and develop the understanding of how article of association serve as fundamental legal document this document is a fundamental legal document that sets the rules for a company internal management and governance. Memorandum of association is that document who define how the stranger maintain their external relation. Company and stranger relations governed by the memorandum of association. Internal relation of company governed by this document and this document is also categorized as fundamental legal document. Fundamental in the sense no one allowed to be violate the terms of article of association and this document governance relates to internal management. So, this document automatically prove that is a fundamental document and to learn about flexibility in companies have in customizing their article to suit their specific needs. Article if suit to your specific needs, this is a good effort on the part of companies. If this article not suit to your specific needs, you may be changed according to the circumstances. Objectives within the boundaries of legal requirements, you set your own boundaries. Memorandum of association define what to do and this article of association establish how to do these things. And this document know about the statutory rights of companies. Statutory right means those rights which provided by the statute itself. How to alter their article while ensuring compliance. In the legal terms compliance play very important role in each and every conceptual study. If we relax the condition of compliance no one follow the rules of law. So, law basically for the purpose of compliance and compliance for the betterment of society and there is no any excuse on the part of compliance with the provision of companies act and other relevant statutes. Article here in strict literal sense bound to be maintained their harmonized relation with the companies act memorandum of association and other relevant statutes. If article of association fail to maintain their harmonized relation, their cordial relation, their consistency with the rest of the laws, acts, provisions or documents, it means article of association not serve the fruitful purpose there. Article of association of a company are considered here bylaws or rules of bylaws or rules and regulations. These terms prove that this article of association is a important document and these are responsible for govern the management. Which management? Internal affairs and conduct of the company, internal affairs of the business. So, bylaws particularly if we say act, statute, if we say rules, if we say regulations, if we say bylaws, if we say ordinance, these all things indicate that 
they are the part of some compliant. We are bound to be comply these provisions which defined by these rules, regulation, act, statute, bylaws. So we are bound here to follow the same. There is no any exception to skip the same, to divert from the same, to depart from the same. Bylaws, rules and regulation are responsible to govern the management of the company and which type of management? Internal management, internal affairs and the conduct of the business we here bound to be governed by this document. This document define how to achieve the goal which settled by the memorandum of association. Article deals with the rights and rights of the members of the company and inter C. Here three situations arise. One is one side we consider there is a company, another side here we consider that is the member and one side we consider there are board of directors and one again another side is here member. So what type of role play by this document, how company maintain their relation with the members? how company maintain their relation with the board of directors and how the relation between members and members. So this document define how company maintain their interrelation or relation between each other. Inter C indicate that the relation between each other how maintain and which document is responsible for the same. So article of association is that document who define how company maintain their interrelation or inter C relation between member and members and they are subordinate to and controlled by the memorandum of association. One is company act, another is memorandum of association, third one is known as article of association. So first position given to company act, second position given to memorandum of association and third position given to article of association. So article of association need to be maintain the harmonized relation or consistency with the memorandum of association and memorandum of association also bound to be maintain the consistency and harmonized relation with the company act. So article of association automatically bound to maintain the harmonized relation or consistency with both documents memorandum of association and article of association. Article of association considered as subordinate of memorandum of association and memorandum of association here considered as subordinate of company act. And if we going in detail in the depth company act is bound to be follow the provisions or the policy of constitution of India. So every law who introduced either by state legislature or the parliament they are bound to be maintain their harmonized relation or consistency with the Indian constitution. So on the same pattern here constitution is here it provide the equation for company act, company act provide the equation for memorandum of association and memorandum of association provide equation for article of association. They are in hierarchy and these documents are frame or design as per the requirement of law as per the requirement of companies as per the requirement of situations and article of association like a partnership deed that's law contract when we apply in any case that's governed by agreements so when any person become a member in any company we presume that the article of association is applicable on that person as applicable as that person sign on this document. So in this document define how company call the money on shares, how for feature of shares, what is the qualification and appointment rules of directors, what the powers and duties of auditors, procedure for transfer and transmission of securities. Each and everything relates to internal management that is defined in this document. Article of association basically considered as bible for their internal functioning. Internal management, business there is no possibility to run a business without some procedure laid down. 
by the uh, rule making agency, by the sanctioning agency, by the government or by the statute. So, article of association is considered as bylaws which frame by company itself to regulate their own functioning. Oftenly, this compared as a rule book, this compared as a rule book, we not uh, change the rules and we are bound to follow the rules as it is. I gave you one of the example, if we jump the red light on any crossing, it means we violate the provision of motor vehicle act and here the violation is subject to penalty. The same thing here, article of association is a rule book. If someone violate the provisions or the rules or the condition settled by article of association, he commit a wrong that amounts to offence and that categorized as a penalty for the same and everyone is responsible if violate the rules. That is rules laid down by company for their own functioning and they manage the company for the betterment of society, betterment of stakeholders, betterment of the members who are considered as owner of this company. Section 2 sub clause 2 define article of association is regulate the internal management of the company. So, from very beginning we held that that document is responsible for internal management and the external relations governed by memorandum of association, article of association is subordinate of this memorandum of association, Art article of association define how we implement the conditions laid down by memorandum of association. Memorandum of association define what to do and article of association define how to do these things. So, I uh, regulate the internal management of the company and define the power of officers. What power of officers? In case of companies, the officers are considered as board of directors, they are considered as key managerial functionaries, key managerial persons are officers, your secretary is officer. So, those persons who are responsible for the functioning of company, they are considered as officer. If any default committed by company, it means officer commit and default. In the eyes of law, company is only an artificial person. Company is a word contemplated for in law and the natural persons we required to punish the offense for the offenses. Company commit an offense, but we required a natural born person to put behind the bar on the name of company. So, these officers are ready to put behind the bar on the name of company and they are 24 hours available. So, what type of powers they exercise and what is the limitation of the powers, those working in the companies as an officer, establish a contract. This document is establish a contract between the company and the members and inter se, mean, means members and members. So, this document is very important document who define how company govern their internal relation. So, nature of article of association defined in section 2 sub clause 5 of the Companies Act 2013, article means the article of association. Very simple definition given by legislature here under section 2 sub clause 5. Article means the article of association of a company as originally framed or altered from time to time applied in pursuance of any previous company law or of this act. The same definition relates to memorandum of association and the same here apply in this particular section. Article of association means as originally framed or altered, both have an same footing, both documents have same binding force either you originally framed, either you altered the same. 
So, this document include the regulation contained in table A in schedule 1 of the act in so far as they are applied to the company. Table A, B, C, table A, B, C, D, E, these are the tables applicable on memorandum of association and rest of the 5 tables after that F, G, H, I, J, these, these tables of schedule 1 applicable on article of association. So, if any company not ready to prepare their own article of association, you may be adopt in this schedule available model form of article of association, you adopt from this schedule and fill up your, in the name of your company that is become your own article of association. Section 5 clause 1 define the article of company shall contain the regulation for management of the company how company manage their rules regulation where defined in this document defined and supported by section 5 clause 1. So, entire discussion in the sport that we govern the internal relation through this article of association, this article of association for internal dealings treated as rule book and no one allowed to be shrink or divert from this rule. One important case here we discuss which decided by House of Lord in 1875 and this case is considered as leading case, landmark case on this point, Ashbury Railway Carries and Iron Company Limited versus Rich. In this case, so many principles laid down, but we consider here this case for the purpose of article of association. Learned judges Lord Keynes here define journal function of the article have been aptly summed up by Lord Keynes. It means what is the journal functions performed by article of association they define in this case article play a part that is subsidiary to the memorandum of association. In this case Lord Keynes held that memorandum of association is a supreme law in comparison of article of association and article of association is a subordinate law in comparison of memorandum of association and that deals with the internal matter of the company. They accept the memorandum of association as the charter of the company means a basic law of the company basic rules defining memorandum of association of the company and incorporation of the company basically based on these two documents. Every company is bound to be submit these documents along with their application form to the ROC. If ROC is satisfied with these documents, then he issue the certificate of incorporation. And Lord Keynes held that memorandum of association as a charter and article of association is the subordinate of this charter. That is also an important document. The article proceed to define the duties, rights, powers of the governing body as between themselves and the company at large. So, Lord Keynes define the relation of the company relates to what are the duties performed by governing body. Governing body is here board of directors. Board of directors are responsible to apply the policies decided by members in the annual journal meeting or extraordinary journal meeting through their decisions. Only three functions in the hands of members and rest of the functions in the hands of board of directors. What those three function? They members decide the policies policies and they policies decide in AGM annual journal meeting or EOGM. And second, they are responsible for election and removal of directors. Directors, how elected, how removed, that is the power of members. Third power in the hands of members, appointment and removal of auditor. Appointment and removal of auditor. These three power in the hands of members and rest of the powers in the hands of board of directors. So, board of directors are managed day to day managerial function in the light of policies decided by members and they are responsible for these acts. And members meet once in a year. So, it is practically not possible member means 
meet again and again on the name of company for the benefit of company for the behalf on the behalf of company so article is that document who define what duties of the internal managers who manage the company or you may be say governing body their rights their powers and inter c here means what's the relation between member and members that also a important document who define how members internally relate with each other that amounts to a rule book article of association who define how member a maintain the relation with member b this document also define the mode and form in which business of the company is to be carried on what's the mode they follow and the mode and form in which changes in the internal regulation of the company may from time to time time to time indicate that as per the demand of circumstances if you wants to change this document you change any time this document that's your inherent power company exercise this inherent power change this document any time with the permission of rules with the permitted limits that's defined by x so another case in this direction who established the role of article of association naresh chandra sanyal versus the calcutta stock exchange association limited this case decided in the year of 1971 by supreme court and supreme court is the highest court of the country so they define and these decisions applicable as a law due to the pressure of article 141 any matter decided by supreme court that binding on their lower jurisdiction and supreme court also frame the law under article 142 that's a special power in the hands of supreme court supreme court under this article frame the law where there is no any law to complete the justice so we discuss uh, later on uh, these things but in this case court held that article regulate the internal management of the affairs of company by way of defining the power of its officer so two things very important in this decision very first court held that internal management governed by article of association second thing this document define the powers of officers officers are here board of directors and secretary md ceo other managerial functionaries those are considered as officer their powers defined by this document this document establish a contract between company and the members and between the member and member so again and again our statutory provisions as well as judicial pronouncement held that this document is considered as rule book for internal management of the company and how company maintain their relation with the members and how the relation maintain between member and members the entire scenario here deal by this document article of association this document is equivalent to contract contract governs the ordinary rights and obligation incidental to membership in the company so this document is equivalent to contract uh, when cont parties enter into the contract the terms settled by the parties are binding on the parties due to this contractual terms that's the obligation of the parties they fulfill their obligation as they decide in the contract the same rule is applicable here in this case court held that this document is applicable as a contract between the parties and the company so no one divert from the rules settled by the company in this document and one another case decided by company law board in 1992 this is also a leading case on this point in kinetic engineering limited versus sadhana gadia 1992 is the year when this case decided by company law board the article of association of a company are not law 
and do not have the force of law. Why not this consider as law? Because company itself decide the terms and condition of this document. That is applicable as a contract, not as a law. If any provision of the article of the association is inconsistent with the memorandum of association, then this provision of article of association is invalid in toto. It means complete article of association or these terms which inconsistent with the memorandum of association that amounts to invalid. So, in this case CLB held that this is the foremost duty of article of association, this document maintain the consistency with their, their higher document and company act memorandum of association are the higher documents in comparison of this article of association in the hierarchy of the documents. So, this documents if any clause inconsistence or against the provision of memorandum of association or company act up to that extent this documents conditions are invalid or you say in toto that is not applicable. Registration of article of association section 7 clause 1 stipulates that during a company's incorporation, company must submit. The beauty of this section 711 is that they use word must and la basically deals with the interpretation, basic role of judiciary to interpret the law and we interpret the law with the uh, with the permission of words used by legislature. Interpretation is the process to seek a certain the meaning of legislation in authoritative way what they wants to convey. We draw the conclusion from the word used by legislature. So, legislature here use word must, must indicate that every company is bound to submit this document to the registrar of companies before obtain the certificate of incorporation. That is the precondition. You first draft this document and submit with the registrar of companies for obtain the certificate of incorporation. So, this is an essential part of the, this uh, section 71. Located within the, within the jurisdiction of the proposed registered office, the article signed by all the subscribers in the prescribed manner. So, if we consider one point here, this one second point, this one three point, all three points indicate that this document is very important document and how many persons require to sign? Subscribers, minimum number of persons which we require to establish a company, incorporate a company, those persons known as subscriber and they sign on each and every document on the behalf of proposed company. Must word indicate you are bound to be frame this document signed by subscriber that is the second requirement of statute, third requirement in prescribed manner as defined. So, in case of public limited company we required minimum 7 subscriber, in case of private limited company we required minimum 2 subscriber. In case of one person company, we required minimum one subscriber. In case of producer company, we required minimum 10 subscriber. So, these persons which we required minimum number, they sign on this document. So, this document when signed, it means we presume that they go through in this document and this document is now become the document of the company. All type of companies including here public, private, limited by share, limited by guarantee and with or without share capital or unlimited liability must register their article of association. Again they use word must. So, must indicate that that is the mandatory part. Every type of company who proposed 
here for our incorporation those companies frame this document section 5 clause 2 states that article must include matters related to additional management and their functioning how management functioning for this one this documents define the condition powers related to the internal management and what type of functions they perform and if any time they violate the provision of this document that amounts to offense and that's deal according to the provisions of law according to section 5 sub clause 6 companies article should adhere to the specified forms outlined in table f g h i j schedule 1 first five tables relates to memorandum of association next five tables relates to article of association and the specific company deals by this specific table if a company limited by shares table f is applicable or in this same manner the if company limited by guarantee having the share capital or without share capital the different table is applicable company is unlimited liability company having share capital or not having share capital different modal form of tables are applicable on those companies and schedule 1 is the define the tables modal forms of article of association and memorandum of association you may adopt these modal forms of memorandum of association and article of association that's very helpful for those who are not interested to frame their own these documents so section 5 sub clause 7 permits a company to adopt any or all of the regulation found in modal article modal article in previous slide define here table a b c d e these tables relates to memorandum g h i j these tables relates to article of association you may be adopt in full or in part that's your discretion there is no problem rules and regulations permit either you adopt entire table either you adopt in part there is no problem in this regard section 5 sub clause 8 states that companies registered companies registered after the commencement of the company act 2013 if their registered articles don't exclude or modify regulation from the modal articles those regulation will apply to the company as if they were part of the registered article so up to that extent the article modal article is applicable on you which suit to the company which suit to the policies of the company policies of the statute under section 5 6 a company regardless of being limited by guarantee or having a share capital can adopt suitable regulations from table g h i or j schedule 1 these tables relates to specific type of companies that's mention which table applicable on which companies section 5 sub clause 9 clarifies that provision in section 5 do not apply to the articles of company registered under a previous company law unless they have been amended in accordance with the company act 2013 if you amended as per this act then that's applicable if you registered under previous act then provision of section 5 do not apply that's a clarify in this section 5 sub clause 9 so what's the major difference between memorandum of association and article of association we discuss here in this slide fundamental condition introduce in this memorandum of association this document of a fundamental nature this document is known as basic law this document basically relates to the what to do by company this document set the boundaries or limitation of the company and define the limits of activities board of directors of the companies what's limit set by this document 
you are bound to be follow the limit set by this document. Altered in special circumstances with special majority plus approval of tribunal. Where there is a tribunal approval required, you must bound with the same. So, this document not include any clause in contravention of Company Act 2013. When we discuss the hierarchy, we gave first position to Company Act and second position we given to here Memorandum of Association and third position given to Article of Association. So, memorandum of association is here bound to give regard to the Company Act 2013. Article of association is bound to give regard to the memorandum of association. So, you are not supposed to be include any clause which in contravention of Company Act 2013. Act done by company beyond the scope of memorandum of association are ultra virus. If you doing any act which is against the limit set by memorandum of association, your acts treated as white. There is no any meaning of such acts, they are ultra virus acts. Ultra virus act not allowed to be ratified even unanimously. Once act is held here ultra virus, that is not ratified even unanimously you decide to ratify the same. So, these things define that this document is very, very important document and the nature of this document is equivalent to a basic document. So, article of association here that is defined here, how you compare this article of association with memorandum of association, this document govern the internal relation between company and members and members and members. So, memorandum of association deals the external relation, article of association deals internal relation. This document provide the regulation inside the area and memorandum of association lay down the parameter of article of association. This document altered with special resolution. No doubt both documents allowed to be altered as per the limit restriction imposed by the law, as per the riders imposed by the law, but we required some special majority for article of association and we required special majority plus prior approval of regulators in the memorandum of association. Article is subsidiary of both, both here means Act means Company Act, Memorandum of Association is the subordinate of Company Act. So, both documents here need to be maintained consistency with the this article of association. Act beyond article of association can be ratified. Here you ratified these things, but here you not allowed to be ratified these things. So, this comparison prove that this document nature is a fundamental nature, this document nature is a not a fundamental nature. It means that is ratified according to the demand of circumstances. This document rules for internal working of the company. So, every company here frame this document and every company bound to be follow this document, this is the requirement. Importance of both documents, memorandum of association and article of association, both documents and complementary and supplementary for each other. Both document must be read together and ambiguity or uncertainty may be removed by reference to the other. If the memorandum of association is clear, then ignore the article of association. So, this proposition also held that memorandum of association is a supreme document, article of association is a subordinate document. But one thing is here, they are complementary and supplementary for each other. Like your fundamental rights and directive principle of state policies, no one is a complete in absence of other. The same thing we apply here, same doctrine we apply here 
memorandum of association is incomplete in absence of article of association and there is no any meaning of article of association in absence of memorandum of association we need to be read together these documents for the better results for remove the ambiguity section 5 this section basically the section for entrenchment the beauty of company act 2013 reflected in section 5 article shall also contain such matter as may be prescribed however company may include such additional matter in its article as may be considered necessary for its management so memorandum of association is a constitution of the company not change in ordinary circumstances but article of association is a subordinate document and you change in ordinary circumstances also but section 5 in the favor that you apply the doctrine of entrenchment this doctrine if you apply in the particular clause of the article of association that automatically obtain or procure the status of special category article may provide certain clauses of article will not be alterable it means special status given to those clauses which you want to be gave specially should be altered in special circumstances mere passing a special resolution is not an affair we require more elaborate procedure to be followed company shall give notice to the registrar for the same if you put any clause in this particular category you give the notice to the roc this is the beauty of this act you may put some certain simple provisions of your article of association as a special provisions if you put under this category they are deal specially if you not put under this category they are not deal specially so this provision first time introduced in the statute book that's doctrine of entrenchment what are the contents of article of association article of association basically deals with the internal dealings share how much share capital of the company authorized share capital subscribe paid up so these all things mention and what type of shares company issue either equity share preferential shares and the what the division of shares generally we found the value of each share is 10 rupees in modern circumstances since two decades we found the every company who issue the ipo they start with the 10 rupees share of nominal value of each share 10 rupees in the earlier days the value of share may be 100 rupees or different value but presently 99% cases we found the company mark their nominal value of their share is 10 rupees each so what's the value of share that's defined in this document how the shares are transfer from seller to buyer once a buyer buy the sale he transfer he apply for transfer of name uh, against these shares and in the company's register when your name is registered in the company's member register then you entitle for the benefit attached with the holding of these shares so transfer and transmission rules which applicable in this particular company that's defined by this document transmission basically when someone become the owner of the shares without follow the rules of stock exchange that's transmission basically this transmission is the concept of legal heirs when some legal heirs become the owner of the shares they not follow the route of stock exchange in such cases the transmission rules are applicable transfer rules are applicable when we follow the route of stock exchange rights of shareholders and procedure for variation rights of shareholder basically two type of rights available to shareholder one in his individual capacity in individual capacity what rights are available in the corporate capacity as a group what rights are available these rights define in this 
rule book and what is the procedure for variation of these rights? Section 48 of the company act basically deals with the class rights and individual rights are such rights how you contest the election of directors and you apply for transfer of name if you become the buyer of shares, if you purchase the share from stock exchange, how you apply for transfer of name. So, corporate rights are such rights which you apply in group and individual rights basically two rights here, one is to claim the dividend as a member, second is here contest the election of director, third one apply for transfer of name. So, increase alteration and reduction of share capital that is defined by this document that is the internal matter of the company. How company increase their share capital, how company altered their share capital, how company apply the reduction in share capital. There are so many modes of reduction of share capital, one of the mode is buyback of shares. So, we not discuss here such things here appointment, remuneration, qualification of officers and directors. So, what the remuneration, qualification of directors and other officers that defined by this document article of association, basically no any qualification is applicable in case of directors, only one qualification is applicable that is known as share qualification every director is bound to buy minimum one share of the company. So, this is the qualification otherwise no any other qualification required rest of the things are categorized as disqualification. What are the disqualification? We discuss in the chapter of director there what are the qualification and disqualification of directors. But these all things define in this article of association composition and constitution of committees, either that is a audit committee, either that is a remuneration committee, either that is a CSR corporate social responsibility committee or capital redemption reserve account committee. So, any type of committee how perform their function and what is the composition of this committee that defined by this document. Procedure of conversion of stock and share. So, there are two terms one is share another is stock. Share basically consider as two, one is equity shares another is preferential shares and no any company allowed to issue the stocks. Basically fully paid up shares converted into stock and stock may be converted into shares, shares may be converted into stock. But at the initial stage no any company allowed to issue the stock, only companies are allowed to convert their fully paid up shares into stock. Notice of meeting in which mode you gave the notice, what is the voting right, what is the mode of voting here you use, polling, proxy, quorum related to the same rules defined by this document and how company wind up how company wind up that is also defined by this document. If there is a voluntary winding up then article of association deals with the same. Alteration of articles of association, section 14 of the companies act 2013 define how altered this document. This is the special provision given to the company under this section. A company may change their article, but this power is subject to the Companies Act provision, Companies Act provision and the memorandum. So, section 14 in itself speaking that article of association is the subordinate of memorandum of association and memorandum of association is subordinate of company act. It allow alteration even converting private to public and public to private. So, such type of conversion also allowed under this section, a company may be convert from private to public and public to private vice versa, but they need to be changed these documents according to uh, demand of the circumstances. If a private company removes required restriction 
through alteration it loses its private status. So, through alteration you not change the basic conditions, basic condition you not touch and rest of the things you may be changed under this section. Converting a public company into a private company requires tribunal approval. So, this is the important aspect here. If a public company convert their status from public to private, here we require the prior approval of tribunal because the majority of the provision of the Companies Act 2013 are not applicable on private company. So, you are coming here from regress mode to less regress mode. So, here we check your intention through the route of tribunal. Section 14 sub clause 2 mandate filing all alteration and tribunal's approval changes regarding changes to the ROC within stipulated period. And what is the stipulated period here? Within 15 days you must inform to the ROC regarding change of this uh, change of the same. Section 14 sub clause 3 stipulates that any alteration registered under section 14 clause 2 will be deemed valid as if the original part as they are the part of original. So, if you change the article of association every change is equivalent that that is inserted in the original. So, signing and alteration of article, article of association shall be signed by each subscriber already mentioned there minimum number of persons must sign on these documents which you submit in the office of ROC for obtain the registration. Mention name, address, description and occupation of each subscriber against their name you clarify that how many shares they are ready to purchase after becoming the proposed company into a real company. Alteration from private to public when you convert your company from private to public you need to be fulfill these requirement which define in section 2 clause 71. When you convert from public to private you fulfill these requirement which define in section 2 sub clause 68 and effect of alteration defined in the section 10 provides that article of association shall bind the they use word shall bind bind means applicable the company and the members to the same extent as they had signed it means signed when we sign on any document that is applicable on us as a contract shall indicate that is the binding nature of this one shall indicate that is the mandatory and bind means we are bound to follow as defined in these statutes this provision of this particular section section 10 define the same limitation on power of alteration of article alteration must not go beyond the power granted by the memorandum of association in case of conflict the memorandum of association have the overriding effect so in case of conflict between article of association and memorandum of association which one is prevail no doubt memorandum of association is prevail. Alteration must also aligning with the provision of company act and other relevant statute ensure consistency with the law. Second foremost duty here this document must maintain the consistency with other laws. Article must not include anything which is illegal or oppose the public policy. Third rider here impose here the alteration must be bona fide or for the benefit of the company as a whole. Any alteration not designed or frame or introduced for the benefit of some limited persons. The entire alteration must be for the benefit of company as a whole. The alteration must not constitute a fraud with the minority. If any alteration here 
with the intention to commit a fraud with the minority, that alteration are treated as invalid. That alterations are not allowed. Article cannot be altered so as to compel an existing members to take or subscribe more shares. Through this alteration, you not compel the existing members to buy more shares. If their rights vary due to this alteration, first you take the consent of those members. Effecting alteration in its article, a company cannot define or escape, defeat or escape from its contractual obligation with any person. If you already enter into the contract, through alteration, you not the null and void these contractual terms. You not escape, divert from the contractual obligation which already is settled by the contract. So, article of association cannot be altered so as to have retrospective effect. No any retrospective effect given to the article of association. Generally, no any law is allowed to be give a retrospective effect except two laws. One relates to socio-economic offenses, another relates to relates to land. Those laws are allowed to with retrospective effect, otherwise rest of the amendments through prospective effect. There are some judicial authorities. One is V B Rangaraj versus V B Gopal Krishna company case is 1992 decided by Supreme Court. Article of company binding on the company and on its shareholder. Again, Supreme Court decide that that's binding. This is the amounts to contract between company and shareholders. And another case Hickman versus Kent another which decided by Chancellery Divisionary Court in 1915. No article can constitute a contract between company and third person. Con this document create a contract between company and and members not between company and third person. Third persons governed by different rules not by article of association. Doctrine of constructive notice which define in section 399 memorandum of association and article of association when registered with ROC. Office of the ROC is the public office. These documents automatically become the public document and anyone inspect these documents through pay the electronic fee on prescribed fee you pay you take the copy of this document. So, that's notice to all is amounts to constructive notice which define in section 399. And you may be take the copy within 7 days and if there is a violation of this rule, 1000 per day penalty and up to the limit of 1 lakh rupees whichever is less. That's applicable on those persons who not provide the copy of the same. Therefore, any person enter into agreement with the company presume that they first consult this document. And one of the example here article of association provide that bill of exchange signed by two directors. If pay accept bill of exchange which is signed only by one director, the pay will not have a right to claim under the bill. So, when document very clear about the same, if you accept against this document any other bill of exchange, so that is your own fault and no one allowed to be take the benefit of their own fault. That is the basic rule of law. And doctrine of indoor management also relates with this article of association. The rule of constructive notice just opposite of doctrine of indoor management. Doctrine of indoor management basically relates to what is the internal requirement of the companies that they perform or not, how the stranger know, how the stranger inquire about the same. Generally, the stranger hesitate to ask either you fulfill the internal requirement. So, this doctrine is applicable on to protect the stranger as an indoor management. So, this is a leading case on this point Royal British Bank versus Tarkunde 1856 decided by House of Lord. Directors were authorized as per article of association to borrow on bonds as authorized by AGM time to time. Directors gave a bond to defendant without the authority of resolution. This is the internal matter they first obtain the permission of shareholders to resolution but they failed to the same. Question was whether the company was liable on the bond. Court held that company was liable on the bond because defendant was entitled to presume that they held in this case, this is a leading case on this point, they are presumed or assume that the necessary requirements fulfilled by the officer of the directors at their end. If they not fulfill, it means that the protection available to stranger under this same. But some exceptions also here of this rule, 
if the outsider had the knowledge of irregularity then this protection is not available to the outsider no knowledge of article of association this is also not an exception if matter relates to forgery forgery not allowed in any circumstances either on the part of company either on the part of stranger so negligence also not allowed not applicable where precondition to consult checking of documents NOC resolution or authority etc where there are the precondition then this doctrine is not applicable uh, we are here on summary part the article of association serve as fundamental legal document and that's decide the rules and regulation for internal management and company have the flexibility to draft their the own document or maybe alter time to time the article provide flexibility to define their internal process and interplay of constructive notice and the assumption of regularity eases business transactions by allowing parties to rely on the validity of internal company proceedings these are the entire discussion about this topic thank you